Good day and welcome to another top 10 games to play while avoiding human malware with Spartan Entertainment and Electronics. I'm Ryan and today I aim to share with you my top 10 for games to play through Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for PC. This video isn't sponsored, it's just my thoughts on games I have enjoyed or am wanting to play and that are featured on Xbox Game Pass for PC. At the end of the video, let me know what your thoughts are of my 10 or what games you are playing through Game Pass in the comments section. At current, there are 196 games available on Game Pass for PC and over 400 games for Game Pass Ultimate between console and PC. I already posted a video on my recommendations for the console side of things, so this video will be focusing exclusively on the games available for PC. Coming in at the number one spot is a franchise pro probably most synonymous with Xbox, Halo. As of now, only Halo Combat Evolved and Halo Reach are available on PC. The roadmap indicates that the entirety of the Master Chief Collection will be available on PC before the end of 2020. I for one am hoping human malware doesn't delay that. At the number two spot we have Bridge Constructor Portal. A puzzle game with the portal humor. Yes, please. Featuring cameos from GLaDOS and building bridges and portals. This game looks like hours upon hours of fun. Peck flexing its way into the number three spot is Crackdown 3. Honestly, this game wasn't well received as far as I understand it, and after all the delays and hype, it just fell a little flat. It's on my list anyway because, I mean, Terry Crews, how can you go wrong? Sliding into the number 4 spot is Forza Horizon 4. This open world arcade racer is an almost photorealistic while maintaining a massive level of fun masterpiece. Highly recommend it for any fans of racing games. Shooting its way into the number 5 spot is Gears of War 5. Well, rather the entire Gears of War collection. They're all fantastic and well scripted stories combined with fun and frantic multiplayer. I def definitely recommend playing through the entire series. Coming in at the number 6 spot is a series I haven't had the chance to play yet, and that's the Metro series. Three games available on Game Pass, it's Metro 2033 Redux, Metro Last Light Redux, and Metro Exodus. They are beautiful looking games that appear to have intense combat and challenging survival elements. I look forward to jumping into these games. Ori and the Will of the Wisps, as well as the Blind Forest, are in the seventh spot because of how amazing they look on PC. They look great on console, but they are another level of beauty on PC. They are beautiful games that play very smoothly and fluidly, and they are just both amazing games. Raging its way into the number 8 slot is Rage 2, another game I haven't had a chance to play yet. I've seen a lot of content. I haven't seen a lot of content for this game since its release, but it looks like a beautiful game. Appears to be a high intensity shooter that would be right up my alley. If you've played this game, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. I'm actively playing The Outer Worlds, and I will be streaming it as I'm able to play it on this channel. Because of how much I am enjoying it, both from an appearance standpoint and from gameplay standpoint, it claims a spot on this list. The story is a little out there so far, but that's part of what keeps it interesting. The freedom of choice and the ability to determine the outcomes of events in different ways creates a lot of opportunity for replayability. Closing out this collection is the Wolfenstein games available on PC. Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, and Wolfenstein Youngblood. I've played through Wolfenstein 1 and Wolfenstein 2 on console and have really enjoyed the high-paced gameplay and intensity. I haven't played Youngblood as of yet, but based on my experience with Wolfenstein 2, I look forward to playing it. That's the extent of my list for Xbox Game Pass on PC and what I have or want to play. There are a lot more options than what I've outlined here as there are 196 games available on PC through Xbox Game Pass. Let me know in the comments section what you think of my list and the games on the list, as well as what is on your radar for games you are playing or plan to play. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and share it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel as it will help the channel grow so I can keep bringing you new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.